Welcome to Southern California Orthopedic Institute. My name is Dr. Richard Furkel and I specialize in arthroscopic and reconstructive surgery of the shoulder, knee, foot and ankle, and sports medicine. We take great pride in providing outstanding care to our patients. In this video, I will be discussing cartilage injuries of the ankle. The ankle is composed of three main bones. The tibia, which is the roof of the ankle. The talus, which is here. This is the ankle bone itself, and the fibula, which is a smaller bone on the outside of the ankle. These three bones provide stability and function for the ankle. The coating over the bone is what we term articular cartilage. It coats all bony surfaces and joints such as the ankle and allows the joint to move freely without friction, catching, or locking. Normal articular cartilage is critical to the health of the ankle. When the ankle cartilage is damaged, the patient experiences pain and sometimes catching, locking, grinding, twisting, or turning. Instead of the ankle moving freely, cartilage injury increases the friction within the joint and prevents it from moving without restriction. Cartilage injuries in the ankle can sometimes progress and become worse with time, particularly if there is something like a loose piece that is catching or grinding in the joint. When a cartilage injury occurs through the ankle, initially there may be no symptoms or there may be quite mild. Or if it does not heal or becomes worse, the patient often will experience pain, catching, locking, popping, or grinding, depending on the severity of the cartilage injury. Usually the cartilage injury occurs on the talus or the ankle bone, but it can also occur on the tibia or the shin bone or the fibula, or there may be multiple cartilage injuries. One of the biggest difficulties is making an accurate diagnosis since oftentimes x-rays will be negative with these injuries. Sometimes cartilage injuries can heal, such as a bad bone bruise, since there is good bleeding underneath in the bone to provide nutrition to the injured cartilage. However, other times due to trauma or a problem with the microcirculation to the bone, the cartilage loses its blood supply and dies and then becomes loose and painful. If a patient's ankle pain or other symptoms do not subside with rest, icing, and elevation within two weeks, then the patient should consider seeking medical treatment. Orthopedic surgeons such as myself specialize in diagnosis and treatment of ankle cartilage conditions, and it is very important that the patient sees a physician with expertise in this area to help diagnose and treat these problems properly. There are a number of treatment options for cartilage injuries of the ankle. Initially, conservative treatment is preferred. This includes placing the patient in a boot or cast, using anti-inflammatories or perhaps later physical therapy, and rest the injured cartilage to try to facilitate healing. Sometimes cartilage injuries are associated with other problems such as a traumatic injury, instability, or malalignment, or more generalized arthritis such as rheumatoid arthritis. These problems need to be addressed as well in the more complicated cases when some of these other associated conditions exist with a cartilage injury. For patients that have an isolated cartilage problem, if the symptoms persist for three to six months and they have evidence on imaging studies such as an MRI and or a CAT scan of a significant articular cartilage injury, we sometimes then advise arthroscopic surgery. In the ankle we use mini arthroscope because the joint is smaller than the shoulder or knee. We do to look inside the ankle spaces to detect abnormalities and then special small instruments to treat these abnormalities as needed. The most common treatment for cartilage injuries that are loose is to remove the cartilage that has died and then drill or poke some holes with a microfracture device to try to stipulate new blood flow into the area. If the blood flow comes up into the area of the divot where the bone is now exposed because the cartilage has been removed, the body will try to heal the area by having some stem cells that come from the blood form new cartilage. This cartilage is called fibrocartilage and is not as good as the articular cartilage that the patient was born with, but many times it's strong enough to relieve the patient's symptoms and to give them a painless ankle for daily activities and sports. However, if the defect is too large, does not completely heal, we will use a number of cartilage transplantation techniques to try to heal the area and provide new healthy cartilage in the defect. Options include taking a plug of bone from the knee or ankle and transplanting it into the defect in the ankle, 
are using a plug for what is called an allograft, which is from a person who has passed away. Another option is to take a biopsy of cartilage from the knee or ankle and send it to a special lab and have them multiply the patient's own cartilage cells to millions of cells and then reimplant it in the second operation to the area of injury to try to get better cartilage formation. More recently, another technique that is available is to take allograft cartilage from kids under the age of 13 and chop up the cartilage cells and then implant them into the defect in the ankle. Each patient's condition is unique and has its own complexities and it is critical if someone with significant experience in treating cartilage injuries of the ankle does these procedures. The recovery process for each type of treatment is unique. Generally, after a procedure such as the ones I've described above, the patient needs to be in a half cast or splint and then immobilized for a week or two and then start motion in the ankle to facilitate cartilage formation. However, patients may also be non-weight bearing on crutches for a period of a few weeks to allow the cartilage to form and not injure it during the recovery process. Patients usually start physical therapy four to six weeks after surgery with a gradual process of going through what we call the four phases of rehabilitation of the ankle to full recovery. Patients with significant cartilage injuries take between six months and a year to fully recover. Treatment of cartilage injuries is a challenging process without one absolute treatment that works for everyone. The methods chosen treat, to treat each patient must be individualized to the specific problems and the experience of the surgeon is extremely important to facilitate a good result. To learn more about cartilage injuries of the ankle, please visit our website at www.scoi.com. Thank you for your attention.